Hello bros, I'm Uncle Ted's Back 2, Bofi Production, and next part, the Sakura Alien. It's actually pretty hard to know how big you should actually make this, uh, because it's not set up in the same way as the other Sakuras. Also, I also thought that this Sakura would be actually play as a female, which apparently we are not. I mean, every second Sakura before this, uh, not in the entirety, but uh, there was every second Sakura like was female, I think. But <laughs> let's jump into where we left off so we can start seeing about this story. We just got the uh, backstory last time, so let's uh, read. <coughs> Blum. Ah. I was so surprised as I feel a soft sensation pushed up against my arm. I probably shouldn't be as surprised as I am given how often this scene plays out, but it shocks me all the same. I've only just stepped outside and I'm already being assaulted. How are you Haru? Are you doing well? How have you been looking after yourself? It's been uh, chilly lately, hasn't it? You ought to make sure you wrap up warm and make sure you eat a lot of nutritious food too. She always starts uh, babbling 19 uh, to the dozen as she always does. It's hard to get any words in when uh, this girl is around, but I have at least make an effort. Hey Hiori. I try to wrench my arm free of Yori's pincer-like grass to little avail. She's clinging to me hard, as though she's afraid I might disappear. Well, if we get abducted by an alien, we probably will. <laughs> Which, if I'm being fair, wouldn't be the wholly baseless fear. I do find Yori company quite overwhelming. She's more touchy-feely than any girl I ever met before, not that I know all that many girls, and we haven't known one another all that long. It's not like we're shattered friends or anything. She has uh, no sense of boundaries whatsoever. To be honest, I find yours clinginess kind of... Actually, I need to check if my mic actually is on. Yeah, it is. It um, actually it makes sense to check that because uh, of what uh, happened uh, not too long ago. <sighs> I mean, how I see she's clinging to the arm, that's not the <laughs> a, good, a good way. I mean, if she has uh, pushed her boost uh, up against my arm, that uh, would probably have been more... And daring, as the answers are. <clears throat> I say annoying actually because how she's holding it. I've asked her to cut this out numerous times to little avail. Oh well, the third or fourth or four hundred time might just be the charm. I don't think she gets the hint, but I might as well try. You're clinging to me a little too hard there. Do you think you could ease up? But Haru, <laughs> Hiori pouts, her wide eyes boring into my own. Hiori looks pretty plain with her bobbed brown hair and her brown eyes, but in terms of personality, she really is out there. Yeah. I mean, technically, if you have brown eyes, you should dye your hair another color, because otherwise you look like, you look just like plain. I mean, if you want to uh, really stick out there, you should uh, technically try to change things up as uh, you go further down your body. Like, one hair, different eyes, different shirt, different uh, pants. Uh, I mean, you just change it up and uh, you will uh, stick out more. And when you stick out more, more people notice you. And, uh, well, you can make more friends. Or so. Is she overcompensating for uh, <coughs> for her average looks? I've often pondered this during the months I've known her, but that's me. I mean, thought so. I keep it to myself. 
have to cling to you to warm you up. It's a cold day, and oh, <laughs> Eeyore squeezes my hand, uh, my hand between her own that uh, squeaks in alarm. Why do you wear gloves? The weather report said it was below zero. It's alright. I used to live in the countryside. I got even colder there. I'm used to it. Oh, that's so cool. You always act so tough. Eeyore giggles, then snuggles even closer to me. She lets go of my hand, thank goodness, but her fingers are quick to coil once more around my arm. Actually, living in, in the city, you usually can't see the night sky. I actually do live partially on the country, so I can always see the night sky very clearly, and I love it. I would not move to the city to just because I would lose the night sky. In cities, um, the city light usually covers up the night sky in some way, so you can't even see stars or anything. She pulls uh, my body towards her, presses her cheek to curve off my shoulder, then beams. But you don't need to act tough around me. We are friends after all. If you are cold, just say the word and I warm you up in a snap. How does she intend to do that? <laughs> my body temperature is a little higher than your average person's. Is that always like that or is it only when you're close to me? I mean, she seems uh, a little bit of an uh, annoying uh, person. Though that should be expected given I'm not an average person at all. Are you an alien? Otherwise, uh, you never know. You should already know by this point though, so I won't bore you with the details. Yeah, uh, thanks. Yuri might look completely normal to an outsider, but she is... Uh, she, but she maintains quite forcefully, in fact, that she is not, in fact, an ordinary girl. She believes instead she is an alien. So, is uh, this Sakura literally a Sakura alien, or is, is this just a um, person that is insane? I was pretty unnerved when he first told me about this insane theory, and to be honest, I'm still unnerved. I thought about quite uh, about quitting the astronomy club when she dropped that bombshell, but I wasn't able to do it. I love still uh, gazing too much to pass it up, and while Hiyori is strange, I don't think she means any ill. She's a nice girl, really. A bit too attentive to my needs, and I definitely don't dislike her. If it weren't for her, for me, the astronomy club would have only one member, and it would be forced to disband. I know how much her club means to me, Yuri, and I hate to be the harbinger of its demise, even if it is on its last legs. I'm willing to doubt Yuri's uh, Yuri-ness at least until the end of the semester, but... Hey Haru, can you maybe like not flirt with your girlfriend so early in the morning? You're going to make me puke, man. That's right, I don't have to show off like that. Are you trying to rub it in? That's with girlfriends are the worst. They think they're all that just because they have a bit more luck than us. Normies really are the worst, they should all drop dead. Jeez. As I in such a cold day, my breath as as it escaped my mouth turns white and gauzy like steam. I was hoping to stay Hayori away from the apartment before my housemates woke up, but I'm all out of luck. I already been spotted. Koichi is glaring at me like he wants to punch a hole through my face and Kosuki just spat on the sidewalk. How charming. Not. And Kosuki he wonders why he doesn't have a girlfriend. Not that I'm uh, dating Hiyori for all uh, she clings to me. Oh hi there Haru's housemates. Hitler's of my housemates death glares, he always shoots them a cheery smile. Nice to see you. 
Make sure you wrap up warm, alright? It's very cold. Hate for you to get sick, and I hate it even more if you gave my dear Haru pneumonia. What is that? I have no idea what that is. Uh, hey guys. I weigh my to my housemates with my free hand, then try to extricate myself fr from both Hiyori and this awkward misunderstanding. I think you got the wrong idea. Hiyori and I aren't dating. I begin, but Kazuki cuts me off. Like hell you aren't. Why the girl clings to a guy if she doesn't have a thing for him? Well, that makes sense actually. <laughs> I'm not stupid, you know, I can see what's going on. This girl is totally has the hearts for you. Kazuka's right, it's obvious. You can't uh, trick us with that, we're not dating bullcrap. She only deigns to, to look at us because we live with you. I don't care one way or the other if you want to flirt, but don't like do it right in front of us, man. It's rude. <laughs> no, we're really not dating. I try again, but a little avail. Oh, spare me the excuses. You started to piss me off. Let's go, guys. Sure, anything to get away from these two lovebirds. Here. This uh, spits on the ground again before departing. Skulking along in his beaten up winter coat behind Kuchi and Daigo. I watch them head off uh, <coughs> down the street and sigh. It's not yet uh, uh, 0800 and I already feel like ex exhausted. <laughs> I gotta be. If they keep putting out the time there for you to read however you want, I will uh, keep uh, reading it uh, different each time. I'm tired of being at the odds with my housemates thanks to Hiyori. I used to get along with Kyoshi pretty well until Hiyori began to cling to me like this. I don't think she intended to drive a wedge between me and the guys, but that's how it ended up. Maybe I'd feel less better about this if we were actually dating, but we're not. That's all a genuine misunderstanding, but how can I tell my housemates that? They refuse to listen to me. Hell, if, if I was in their shoes, I wouldn't listen to me either. Your closeness does look awfully suspicious. If only they understood that Hiyori has a few screws loose that might uh, salvage uh, some goodwill from the wreckage of our capacitite friendship. I think she lost a few screws, actually. But then again, maybe not. I should uh, hold out any hope. Harris? Hiyori peers at me, her arms still loop through mine. Are you alright? You got a... Uh, you have gone very quiet. You're not cold, are you? No, I'm fine. I'm just thinking. About? Consider scolding Hiyori. Then I think of it, she never listens to me. I doubt I do much good, and in any case, I don't want to upset her. I like to think of myself as a gentleman. Oh, it's nothing, really. I force a smile, then try to shrug Hiyori's grasp, being almost mine. Would you mind letting go? It'd be hard to walk to university with you clinging like that. I don't want to be late. Alright, you have a point. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <sighs> when I see you, I just can't help myself. The embarrassed reaction of you humans are simply too charming. I mean, she should be very cold. I mean, I don't know if it's uh, visible through the recording, but I can see that her legs are actually uncovered. She's wearing a skirt, so she should be very cold if it's actually, is that to say, very cold outside. But it isn't any snow even, so I don't think it's that cold. But uh, I do see a tree without leaves, actually several trees without leaves, so I suppose it's autumn. You're a human too, you know. I mumble under my breath, but Hiyori doesn't seem to hear me. 
She is good at uh, commonly blotting out remarks that conflict with her warped world view. The hell? She's good at coming to burn her remarks that conflict with her warped world view. At least she gets off me at the long loss, which is something of a mercy. I do wish she relinquished her uh, grip on me earlier, though. It would uh, save me a lot of scrutinizing glare from my once was trio of friends. So we head over to campus then. Yes, let's. Yuri beams at me, her shoppy brown hair shifting about her face. Let's go together, we have a lot to discuss. We still need to plan out the finer details of tonight's hot pot party. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. It's so good that you have me to remind you about these things then, isn't it? I swear you humans uh, would forget your heads if it weren't screwed onto your necks. How you race became dominant force upon this planet, I shall never know. It really is a mystery. It isn't really. Darwin did a lot of good work de demisifying all that. Haven't you heard of natural selection? Oh really? I'm not good with complicated stuff like that. <laughs> he only falls into step with uh, me as I walk over to the campus. The university is about half an hour away. We could uh, take the bus or the train, uh, but I prefer walking. I like to get a bit of exercise in every day. I don't want to become a total slob behold to the convenience of uh, public transport. So about the hotspot party. Yuri says once we ex Exhaust the, the subject of natural selection. I think we have it in the astronomy club room after we're done uh, stargazing on the roof. I start cooking pretty late, maybe around <coughs> 9? How does that sound? Do you think you can hold out until then? That should be fine, yeah. I offer you a small smile touched by her <coughs> truthfulness. I said I would read time uh, uh, different each time, and I'm still keeping at it. <laughs> That's one uh, thing I can't fault her for. She is a considerate person. In some regards. I eat a uh, big lunch that should tide me over, plus your cooking is delicious. It's always worth waiting for. I'm not just saying that either. Yours cooking is one of the plus of being a member of the astronomy club. Though we're the astronomy club on paper, he already treats the club room more like a restaurant. So we made uh, shelled noodles in the summer and now it's winter, been preparing all kinds of warm dishes. There's a brazier in the club room for grilling meat and stirring soups and she even has a mini fridge to store ingredients. The fridge is uh, perfectly full of veggies. Plus the huge uh, plastic cartons of belle tea Hiori likes so much. For all grouse about Hiori, she should know how to make a club room cozy. Your charm are you? Hiori giggles and nudges me in the side with her elbow. You know exactly what to say to a girl to win them over. Not that I'm complaining. Your tactics are even a... Uh, Effect are even effective on me. No, I'm no ordinary girl. Yeah, yeah. I always uh, come back to this with Hiori. Whenever I start thinking I might enjoy her company, she has to ruin the moment. Sometimes I wonder why Hiori is so desperate to stand out. While it's uh, common to want to be special, people generally. Shed the desire when they get older. Could it be the be a holdover from Hiori's childhood? Maybe her parents were neglectful. 
might explain he always seems satiable desire for attention. Not that I can say for certain. I know much about your Spanish, she is a shadow box, but she hardly ever speaks about them. So do you have any request for tonight's hot uh, pot? Is there anything in particular you want? Not really though. I do like enoki mushrooms. Well, yeah, those are practically a given. Why doesn't uh, put those hot pots? I don't know really what a hot pot is. Well, I do like mushrooms. I mean, I don't know what it's uh, called. Is it spaghetti with meatballs? Well, uh, then the same ingredients you use for meatballs, you actually make a kind of uh, <coughs> stew out of, and you can put mushrooms in uh, that, uh, the brown ones. I don't know what they're called in English, but, well, uh, very good. I mean, you can't uh, really cook mushrooms though, because no matter what you do, they never really get cooked. That's the thing about them. Sure, I mean, with... I think it's called cantarellas in uh, English. I don't know for sure. Well, the yellow mushrooms you pretty much can pick uh, at autumn or just before autumn in the wilds. I mean, those uh, you usually cook cook a little in a frying pan with a little bit of salt and butter and they're uh, pretty good to have in just about anything but uh, mushrooms no matter what you do they always feels a little bit raw especially when you have them in something that will make them a, mo a little moist so they always do feel a bit raw but let's keep reading I really get off track easily that's a good point then um, Wait up my option, all while running a hand through my head. I will just say any kind of meat, really. What about the rice cake? I'm pretty fond of that. Sure thing, I can pick some up from the supermarket alongside the rest of the ingredients. And what about the broth? Do you have any special requests? Anything's fine so long as it's not too spicy. The more the spicier, the better, I say. I mean, I like my food so spicy that no one else wants to eat it. <laughs> but I don't usually make the food that spicy. Uh, though I do make it that spicy if I can. But it's uh, not that easy with all, everything. Now that's a pity. You know uh, how much I love spice. Especially when it gets uh, in your nose. Yeah, that's annoying when uh, spiciness spices uh, do get into your nose because well it <coughs> it's a uh, technically nearly starts burning but because I am uh, technically nearly immune to hot uh, food it doesn't really b uh, bothers me it feels good when you're eating hot food and you start to sneeze but I guess uh, most humans don't like that <laughs> No, we most certainly do not. You're so weird, Hiori. That should go without saying, I'm an alien after all. Yeah, I know. She told me about uh, it enough times, not that I believe her. Her family name is Akasaka, for goodness sake. That's uh, about as basic as you can get. She's not that uh, far removed from the uh, Tanakas or the Suzuki's of the world. Yeah. How many families called Akasaka dwell in space? How many I'm willing to bet? Well, she might just be adopted. If her family name was something like, oh, I don't know, Cloudwalker, I might be more willing to take her while saying about her alien lineage more seriously, but then um, <coughs> she's way too normal. Everything about Hiyori is normal, really, save for these delusions of hers. Sometimes I wish Hiyori wasn't such a good cook, 
Then I might uh, have had the good sense to quit the, the astronomy club months ago when she started spouting all this crazy nonsense. I think it's too late for that now, though. I decided to stick with Hiyori and now I'm in for the long haul. At least her cooking is a good consolation prize even if her waffle about the aliens unnerves me. Hey Haru. Hiyori footsteps come to on hold, she peers at me, linking her arm through mine once more and pouts. Why aren't you saying anything? I don't have anything to say. But I just told you I was an alien. Doesn't that warrant some kind of reaction? You tell me you're an alien every day. I've gotten used to it. How can you get used to it? He already pouts. It should be a revelation, particularly for a guy like you who loves space. Doesn't it excite you? Have lost it, you lost her. I don't, know. I don't think you're treating this with the gravitated deserts. In fact, sometimes I think you don't believe me at all. Maybe you think I'm teasing you or lying, but I'm not. I'm being honest. Everything I say is true. If she turns into an alien, I'll be more inclined to believe her. But actually, there is a actually smaller chance that alien creatures from another planet could actually look quite a bit like humans. Considering, if, I mean, what made humans? actually evolve into the thing we are now. I mean, it uh, could uh, be um, just like natural selection, so another uh, creatures from another planet could look just like humans, uh, but uh, the small differences uh, would uh, still apply considering uh, the planetary <coughs> growth, uh, planetary rotations and so on so um, but the basics is there I believe that you believe everything you're saying is true but as for me you have your doubts a few yeah I mean I clear my throat I don't want to be a mean to her Hiyori not after she's been kind to me but I don't want to indulge her you don't look anything like an alien. You seem like a like regular human girl to me, in every regard. That's what you think, but how can you say that for certain? You've never seen my whole body. Well, I can cut you open also. If uh, anything that ain't uh, red pops out, I'd be inclined to believe it. Wait, liver can be blue, right? <laughs> if you knew the, what I looked like beneath my clothes, you might just reconsider. Well, prove it. <laughs> I would nearly, I would nearly say that. I might actually say that. Whatever. Right. Uh, my friend, is that supposed to be a pickup line? Is that how you're interpreting it? Your smile vaguely. Maybe it is. I don't think I uh, the mind if you saw me naked. I don't trust other humans, but you're special to me. I'm not special to. You. <coughs> you too. You were fierce at me, her expression winsome. We are friends, aren't we? We are sure, but it's because we are friends that, uh, <coughs> friends, there are some things we shouldn't do. Such as getting naval in front of one another, that force to pass at the boundaries of mere friendship, in my eyes at least. Well, you can't take to be naked in front of. Uh, <coughs> Each other, but if you get in bed uh, naked together, then that's a one step uh, before. I mean, it's uh, pretty much uh, just no. That's uh, how uh, nakedness is. No, we really gotta hurry, or we'll be late for class. I'm going to uh, run. What? Hey, Haru! You are caught off to me as I take off. This also my sneaker slapping against the dull grey sidewalk. I can't see Hiyori's face anymore, but I bet she's pouting. Oh well, if she really is an alien, she can always summon her spaceship or something. Not that she this ever happen. There's no way Hiyori is an alien. I have no interest in humoring her. Humoring her. It is quite frankly impossible. 
Not uh, impossible. It could actually be so that alien actually visit our Earth uh, before and uh, actually reproduce it humans and who knows uh, there might actually be some alien blood amongst humans these days. I eventually arrive on campus, no thanks to Hiyori, and head over to my first lecture of the day. It takes a I take a seat in the middle of the auditorium and take notes while my professor talks. I'm pretty passionate about my education, even uh, this far into my course, which is more than I uh, can be said for some of my classmates. A few of my fellow students are stumped in the seats uh, at the very back of the room trying to catch a covert 40 wing. I wonder if they stayed up late last night partying. That's not an uncommon occurrence even during weekdays. I guess it's Friday today. My peers just uh, could wait for a weekend. I don't really go to parties myself, unlike the others. Coach used to invite me out when I first moved into our apartment, but he already presents put uh, the pay to the pretty shoppers. Yuri might be one of the only friends I have, and I'm not entirely sure if she's my friend or somebody I simply endure. I definitely don't hate her, but... Hmm. It's complicated. Our relationship isn't nearly as complicated as physics, however I have to focus so I don't lose track of what the professor is saying. Well, professor usually I'll say blah blah blah. <laughs> I'm not even joking. But listening to a professor talk is actually so boring I used to fall asleep. I kept busy in lectures and seminars for the lion's share of the day. Fridays are particularly hectic for me. It was a little after... How should we say it now? Hmm. I mean, there's just so many way, ways you can read the time. Well, one eight zero zero. <laughs> when I finish with my final class, and the sky is already dark. Since it's January, the sun sets pretty early. The campus is usually pitch uh, black uh, at half five or so. I feel tired thanks to all the frantic note-taking, and it's still on a weary limb, so I haul myself off to the astronomy club room. The astronomy club room is located in the, an out-of-the-way spot on the campus, a bit behind the library. This is the oldest block of the university, and it's in dire need for refurbishment. The floors are wooden and the creak when stepped on, like something from a horror movie. The windows meanwhile are dirty from years of neglect and all the doors creak. This building is so woefully dated, I think it really might be a relic from the Taisho era. It has a pretty spooky vibe, particularly late at night. I wouldn't be surprised if it were haunted by a ghost or two. Not that I believe in ghosts, of course, they are even less scientific than aliens. Well, they are actually more proof of ghosts than aliens. I do believe in ghosts, but I'm not afraid of them. <laughs> that uh, cannot be said for my friend. One person is actually not believe in ghosts, the other person believes of them and are afraid of them. <laughs> so it's pretty uh, good. <laughs> for ghost hunting, that is. I mean, one person believes in them, but are not afraid of them. One person, another person believes in them, but and are afraid of them. And the last person don't believe in. I mean, those are the three kind of people you need for go ghost hunting. There is at least a possibility that aliens might exist, though none uh, <coughs> have been recorded. Sorry, Hiyori, but you don't count. There's no hard evidence, however, that suggests ghosts uh, might be real. There are a lot of evidence. 
all fortune tellers are crooks no matter what they say and uh, and singers are a bunch of balloons yeah fortune tellers they pretty much just tell uh, you the obvious things and seances yeah you're more likely to summon a demon than an actual ghost I know that logically, and yet, creak, the floor creaks ominously beneath me, which sends a shiver down my spine. The building really does give me the creeps. It's uh, so old and only a few rooms are used, the tiny clubs with hardly any members get sh shunted here. Like the Karuta Club, which uh, commands the ground floor, and the Occult Club. It's actually a little fun uh, to say Karuta Club, uh, considering Karuta is a bit a big part of Sakura Sakubus right now. Actually, this came out before Sakura Sakubus, but I'm more interested in like, reading Sakura Sakubus before this one. I don't really interact with members from either club. The members of the Karuta Club will all be smacking cards against dressed in traditional Japanese attire. They will go all out. And the last I heard of the Occult Club, they are busy trying to summon a demon. Yeah. It would actually be fun if you actually managed to summon a demon. Just make sure you don't summon the wrong one. And that's actually pretty easy to do. I mean, what happens if you try, and, uh, <coughs> try to summon a wish granting demon and you accidentally summon a succubus instead? That could be really bad. <laughs> or really good. Depends how you look uh, on it. I mean, wish granting demons, they grant you technically any wish in exchange for your soul. And you could just wish you had multiple souls, and you could uh, summon it again and again and again, and uh, just uh, get as many wishes as you want. You could actually also sacrifice someone else's soul, if you manage to get that person to actually be present for that. But I think if uh, a person loses their soul, uh, they're just an empty husk. Well, <laughs> let's continue reading. I don't think their attempts are going too well, but I have no words of commiseration to offer them. This place is airy enough without becoming a made up place for denizens of hell. -y. Hell? Denizens of hell. I don't know why I read hell. -y. Well, hell. Eventually, I make it to the third floor where the astronaut clubs located. I open the door, which. Parts of it are rather like a dying man's lost breath and uh, let myself inside. Hey Haru. Yuri greets uh, me smiling cheerfully. Right now she is kneeling by the fridge which she is stuffing with uh, packs of meat from a couple of carrier bags at the, her feet. She swivels her head to look at me, though still crouched. It's so good to see you. Come in and have a seat. You don't need to tell me that. I was planning on it. I close the door behind me, then deposit my bag down on the ground. Jeez. I sink onto the well-worn couch with a side note, even bothering to remove my coat that sounds... Too much like a hard, like hard work. I'm beat. Did you have a busy day? Yeah, it was pretty intense. My hands are aching from taking so many notes. You could always use a laptop, you know. That might make things easier. A pencil and paper is so old school. I can't write fast enough with pencil and paper to even take notes. And I don't take notes anyway. I mean, I'm not gonna. Uh, if I'm not gonna remember, it's it's clearly not important to remember. So, you better not to take notes and force yourself to remember it. <laughs> I guess. I lean back on the couch and look up at the ceiling, frowning. Actually, if I uh, actually have to remember something, I could just take my video camera that I actually do have right here, and it's actually 4K. A. Uh, 4K HD 
Wi-Fi. I mean, uh, this pretty much is the revolutionary camera. I mean, you haven't made any new ones since I bought that one, so <laughs> I do still have the newest one. I mean, that camera is hard to beat. I lean back to the couch and look up at the ceiling, frowning. It's rare for Hiori to come out uh, with anything so sensible, but even she has her moments. I prefer using a pen and paper though. It feels easier to take in information if I have to write out each character. Plus it's what I'm used to. We didn't use laptops at my school very much. You went to a small school in the countryside, right? Uh-huh. It was really tiny. <coughs> there were maybe eight kids there if there... Well, Yuri whistles. That is a uh, small coming from here. Must have been called Sherry Sharp. It was, I guess. Not that I was uh, utterly unfamiliar with the city. I wasn't a total bumpkin. I guess the old habits die hard, though. I still don't feel very comfy typing, which uh, might be a problem, come to think of it, given I want to work on uh, satellites uh, when I graduate. I laugh weakly, but in my sleep state, uh, my laugh soon uh, transmutes into a yawn. When I blink, I can feel tears beating in my eyes. My, my. Yuri shuts the fridge and stands. She surveys me with a sweet smile, her head tilted and says, You really must be tired. Perhaps you should have a quick nap. Is that alright? I don't want to ruin our plans for tonight. Oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. I can wake you up in an hour and we can go stargazing then. The stars aren't going to go anywhere. They might. It's a very small uh, possibility, but they might. In fact, I think uh, it's better if we wait. It's a bit too cloudy to break the telescope out now. Right. That sounds good. I yawn again, uh, but I, s I stifle it with the palm of my right hand. There's a red uh, welt on the inside of my index finger. I note it must be from gripping my pencil too tight. I get calluses uh, pretty often. I have a sensi have sensitive skin. I wonder if this is a sign that I should start using my laptop during lectures after all. It seems a waste to have one and not use it. I have three laptops, one that I use, one uh, that I use if needs to be, and a uh, lot one uh, I don't even think that one works. It costs quite a lot of money, and my family isn't that <coughs> isn't the wealthiest. Ah, uh, I yawn again. The couch in the astronomy room is pretty soft, despite it being so old, and its comforting embrace is lulling me into the world of dreams. My eyelids fall shut, and my breath soon begins to even out. I think I'll take you up on that nap. Wake me when you want to go to the roof, alright? I don't uh, miss out. I know, you're even crazier about the stars than I am. And that's the way I came from. Here we go. Leave everything in the cable hands. I look after you, Harry. For now, you should rest. Fair. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Ah. Uh. As with this yawn deeper than lost, uh, my conscience uh, finally begins to fade. Darkness consumes me, and my thoughts all slide into the abyss. <laughs> if you read it like that, it sounds very ominous. Hey, Harrow, wakey wakey, you had a full hour. Mm -mm, huh? I'm stirred from my torpor by a hand upon my shoulder and gently exhalation of air against my cheek. I shiver. Slowly I crack open an eye open than the other. Hey there, Haru. You 
Water greets me with a smile, her expression soft and yet like a watercolor painting. She's kneeling in front of the couch, her face only inches away from mine, her hands resting on her knees, her head tilted to one side. It's so close our lips could brush if we, <coughs> we were <coughs> to lean in. If I were to lean in. But of course I don't do that. I don't know how precisely I feel about Hiyori, but I don't think I want to rush into any kind of relationship with her. That sounds like more trouble than it's worth. Still, it's not a bad way to be woken up. Being aroused by my alarm clock during the cold twenty mornings of certain less pleasant than being shaken into the alertness by a smiling Hiyori. Hey, hey there yourself. I return Hiyori's greeting with one of my own, then sit up my limbs feel a little stiff after napping for so long. And I still feel a touch fatigue. I yawn and one hand pressed to my mouth, my eyes squeezed shut, tears beating on my lashes. Why, uh, why have I been feeling so sleepily, sleepy lately? It must be the season. It always ties me out. It's so chilly and it gets dark so early. Not that the latter point bothers me too much. Staring at the sun only hurts your eyes, but looking up at the moon can be soothing, therapeutic experience. I always like staring at the stars. Speaking of which, are you ready to head up to the roof? I'm ready when you are. You will retrieve our own foldable telescope, which is a more powerful and more expensive model than mine. And tucks it under her arm, then she rises to her feet. Shall we head up? Head on up? The clouds have cleared uh, up a bunch since you started sneezing. It's a great night for stargazing. Great, I'm glad to hear that. I on again, then get to, uh, to my own feet. Let's go and take a look. Yes, sir, roger that. Now, why are you calling me Messer? You are the club leader, not me, and you are a year older than I am. If anything, I should be the one bowing and scraping to you. I guess that is true. <laughs> I wouldn't feel right uh, bossing you around, though. I value too much to treat you like that. <coughs> and besides, you are the only member left in the club other than myself. I can't scare you away. I'm relying on you to stick by my side even if uh, everybody else has left. That sounds kind of needy, Hiyori. I am needy. I'm not ashamed of admitting it. I need you. Well, uh, gee. I glance away, my face turning red. I'm well aware that I'm indespicable to Hiyori, given my status as her sole fellow club member but hearing it spelled out like that, it's kind of embarrassing. He always sounds so grateful, I wouldn't be surprised if she started groveling at my feet. Not that she could right now, given the telescope wedged beneath her arm. I thought she want to drop it. It's a very delicate piece of machinery. It should... Uh, Change the subject for both the sake of my stammering heart and Hewer's telescope, which is just indespicable to the astronomy club as I am. <coughs> its destruction would put a bit of damper on the night. I'm happy to hear that, uh, he guess. Right now, however, we should be worrying about who, who owes uh, who what. Let's just look at the stars. Alright, do you then? Do you already giggle? Let's... <coughs> Let's get this show on the road. Or in uh, this case, the roof. The last one, there's a uh, rotten egg. Half an hour later. Yep, let's save here. I'm gonna get some water uh, between... Um, 
episode. So, Ellie, that was all I have for Sakura Alien this time. And say, like, subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.